All right, kiddos, we're continuing our discussion of phase diagrams, and I thought we'd do a little practice today. I have a phase diagram here for a substance. We're calling it compound X. It's a mysterious substance. So let's ask a few questions about it and see how you guys do. So take a look at the phase diagram and see if you can answer this question. What is the critical temperature of compound X? Do you remember what the term critical temperature is? You know, it's the temperature above which no amount of pressure can liquefy a gas. And so that would be right here in your phase diagram. Once you go above this, this line becomes vertical. And that temperature would be about, let's see, oh, I don't know. I'm going to go with about 780 degrees Celsius. I'll estimate it at that. Okay? So that would be my critical temperature. What would be the critical pressure, by the way? Yeah, the critical pressure looks like it would be about 90 atmospheres. 90 atms. All right. If you were to have a bottle containing this mysterious compound X and it was in your closet, what phase would it be in? So let's see. If it's in your closet, it would probably be at a pressure of around 1 atm and a temperature of about oh, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. We'll say 25 degrees Celsius. So let's see. This would be about 25 degrees Celsius. And boy, my pressure would be right about there. It looks like I would be in the gas phase, wouldn't I? That would be gaseous in that bottle at that pressure and temperature. Okay, at what temperature and pressure will all three phases co coexist? Remember, we call this the triple point. So what is the triple point temperature and pressure? So here's my triple point right there. Looks like the temperature is approximately 350 degrees Celsius. And my trip, uh, triple point pressure is about 50 atms. Okay, so far so good. All right, next question. If you have a bottle of compound X at a pressure of 45 atm and a temperature of 100 Celsius, what would happen if you raise the temperature to 400? Well, let's find 45 atmospheres, first of all. That's right about here on my y-axis. 100 degrees Celsius is right about here. So it looks like you're starting out at the solid phase. And now we're going to raise the temperature without raising the pressure. So are we going to go up, down, right, or left? Now, if you went up, you'd be raising the pressure. So we're going to go to the right, and 400 is right over here. So we want to go to the right till we meet that. Boom. Looks like we're going from the solid phase to the gaseous phase. So solid to gas, and that is called sublimation. That's the change of the solid directly to the gas phase without stopping off in the liquid phase. We call that sublimation. So this mysterious compound will sub sublimate at a uh, when we raise the temperature from 100 to 400 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 45 atmospheres. Okay. Why can't compound X be boiled at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius? Why can't we boil it at 200 degrees Celsius? So let's see, at 200 degrees Celsius, it looks like regardless of the pressure, it's going to either be a gas or a solid, isn't it? It looks like it never reaches the liquid phase when we get to that low of a temperature. Do you agree? See, at 200 Celsius, it's either going to be a gas or a solid when I raise the temperature. So there's no liquid phase that exists at that temperature. It's either going to be a solid or a gas at that temperature. All right. Last question. If you wanted to, could you drink compound X? Could you drink compound X? So that would mean, once again, um, your pressure would have to be uh, about, uh, 
let's see, one atmosphere and a temperature of about 25 degrees Celsius. So at one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius. We were there a little while ago. Let's just find it again. Um, you're going to be way down here. Well, it doesn't look like you can because what phase is it going to be in, folks? That's right. It only exists in the gaseous phase. So the answer is no. Um, it will be in the gaseous phase at that temp and pressure. Okay, let's ask a couple more questions here, shall we? Let's take a look at our phase diagram. Let's say that I am at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 30 atmospheres. Okay, what phase am I at? in? There's 300 and here's 30. It looks like I'm in the gaseous phase. Okay, what if I lowered the temperature without changing the pressure? What if I lowered the temp and I kept the pressure at 30 atm? What phase change would I go through? So let's see, would I go right, left, up, or down? Yeah, when you lower the temp, you're going to go left, and we're going to keep the pressure at 30 atmospheres. Looks like you're going from a gas to a solid. True story. So gas to a solid phase. That's the opposite of sublimation, and that's called deposition. So you go from the gas to the solid phase. It deposits. All right, let's find a temperature and pressure where we're at the liquid phase. So let's go ahead and find 500 degrees Celsius on my phase diagram. And let's have the pressure be 70 atm. So 500 right here, 70 AT atm. Looks like we're in the liquid phase, kiddos. So this time, let's go ahead and lower the pressure without changing the temperature. So we're going to lower the pressure. So lower the pressure and the temperature will be constant. So we're still going to be at 500 degrees Celsius. What phase change do we go through first? So I'm not going to move my point up, down, right, or left. Yeah, if we're going to lower the pressure, we're going to go down. We're going to keep it at 500. It looks like we go liquid to gas, don't we? So we go from the liquid to the gas phase, and that will evaporate. Looks like it's going to boil, won't it? Liquid to gas when I go from that temperature and pressure, and I lower the pressure without changing the temperature. Okay? You okay with reading phase diagrams? All right. We'll talk to you soon, kiddos. Bye-bye.